Happy day everyone, welcome to El Roblox. We hope all of you out there are doing great like always, and in today's video we're going to be discussing the game Word Bomb, how it works and why people love the game. Oh my gosh, Go has created the Roblox game Word Bomb, in which players write words with certain letter combinations in decreasing amounts of time. They have two lives, and if they lose both, they're out. Over time, the bomb speeds up and the prompts become more difficult. Skull Bomb is the last bomb, and it has three letter prompts. The game will go on until there's just one participant remaining. A server may accommodate up to nine people. It was most likely inspired by Sparklin' Lab's Bomb Party, which is a similar game. YouTuber Flamingo is credited with popularizing the game in early 2020. The game was also created at a different location that is now defunct. An example of how the game is played. Keep in mind that the example image is not the same as the explanation. Player 1 receives a quick CA. They use the world California, which is correct. SE is given to the player 2, and they are SEA players, it is correct. Player 3 is dealt a difficult card, KA. They attempted to use KitKat, but it was found to be invalid. They lose a life because they're unable to think of a term in time. Player 4 is a skilled player. Despite the fact that they're given the same difficult Q, KA, they play Karateka, a legitimate expert word. Because there's only four players on the server, it's given back to player one and the loop begins again, with the same or different questions. Now let's see how the gameplay works. At the start of each game, player's profile symbols are linked in a circle around a ticking bomb, an arrow, and a piece of text. Before the bomb explodes, the arrow points to a player's symbol and they must enter a word containing the supplied letters in the correct order. A player loses one of two lives if they don't input a word in time. The bomb glows red and ticks quicker every now and then. When the bomb changes again, it's replaced with a skull death bomb, which requires a new letter to form a word, making it much more difficult. When a response is given, the bomb accelerates, but losing a life causes it to slow down. There's four types of bombs, undone. This is a list of all the different types of bombs in the game. Black bomb, red bomb, death bomb, skull bomb, and bullet bomb. But now let's see the types of generations, undone. For the time being, there's only generation kinds that are known. In a VIP server, enter slash generation generation type to get them. You have to be the owner of it to be able to use these commands. The default generation kind, which is the current prompt generation in public servers, obviously does not require you to possess a VIP server to access. Default, legacy, blanks were obviously referred to as hyphens due to the ability to enter hyphens. Although hyphens can be typed in all modes, like IE and BE, it now has a blank, or two, in its prompt generation. Here to the most awaited part, winning strategies. First, remember the letter combinations, especially the difficult ones. For example, RW as in underwater, KA as in blockages, and EB as in hereby. Begin with a huge scale and work your way down. If you receive ER, enter phrases like counter, countermeasures, or interchangeably. If you have lots of time, but if you don't type things like heron or terrain, if you don't have much time. Keep in mind the origins of words. Many individuals struggle with ed needlessly because they forget past tense verbs such as cooked and panicked. Use plurals, various tenses, and similar sounding words if you're stuck for terms with the same letter combination. Li might be like, likes, liked, liking, line, and an could be annotate, annotates, annotated, annotation, ant, and and. Use this and this to learn lengthy words and terms that maybe haven't been used before. Also, there are three letter prompts. When it comes to prompts like ATI, many individuals strain unnecessarily since they're seeking for terms that start with ATI. They constantly forget that ATI can also end in ing, so the prompt is simply ating, which you could do ATI can end in an ing, and as a result, you can think of one or more acceptable terms, rating, hating, mating, etc. ENA, HIR, and UMI are some of the most difficult three-letter questions. Words like menace, menaces, menacing are appropriate for ENA, bloodthirstiness, thirstiness, thirst, shirt are some for HIR, and aluminum, aluminum, consuming, and UMI are acceptable terms for UMI. And that's a wrap, my dear friends. We're sure you all enjoyed our video to the utmost extent. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. And feel free to comment in the comment box if you have any views, opinions, or suggestions to contribute.